hell. More peevers for me. What can you say about Travis Rice that hasn't already been said? A cowboy, even dressed up as a snowboarder. <laughs> if there is a 50 foot man out there, it's him. I think Travis is uh, not human for the most part. Probably more like an action hero. <laughs> He'd be a bit of a little jock, you know? He's kind of like, he's kind of a tough guy. Amazing. He's very charismatic. He's a really good leader. <laughs> he's just uh, hes just a good dude. He is probably one of the best jumpers in the world, if not the best jumper. Uh, he's a powerhouse. He's got to be one of the most dedicated people in all of snowboarding. That dude works so damn hard. It's like, I think he could probably be like, well, I could be working on a cattle ranch somewhere, but instead I'm doing this, so I'm going to work twice as hard. He got the skills and the power, and he doesn't give up until things are in the can. Travis who? Uh oh. <laughs> Travis Rice. Travis Rice is, he's probably the best snowboarder on the planet right now. Just seeing what he can pull off and what he can do on a snowboard is, is insane. Travis um, will look at something and just, and he thinks it's doable. And it always, it always can be, you know, it's about pushing the boundaries with Travis. And he's one of the riders who really pushes himself. He's always like a few steps ahead of, um, of the comfort zone, they call it. Travis riding is probably the most complete and aggressive, just combined the, the most of everything. He's, he differs from some of the other riders like Nicholas or Gigi that are more wiry, thin guys. They're looser, more bendy, and, but Travis is just, he's a bull. Travis was back then what he is now, just, you know, like he's past the point of being a, a, a snowboarder, he's like a, He's not just an insane snowboarder, but he's like a superhero snowboarder. He's on a whole nother level than everybody else. With Travis, you can really say he's the best snowboarder in the world, you know? What can you say against it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs>Two hours later, after our arrival here in the hotel, one it. truly efficient rim cycle, and I'm ready to shred. Sweet, that's true professional. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of before anyone really knew who Travis was, and he came to Super Park uh, Mammoth, and just like there was this hip that everyone was kind of straight airing and like kind of going over to the side and just going massive. And he was the only one who jumped the, what they call the berserker. And he backside rodeoed it in transcendence, I think. And then that night, Travis went up for his first part with Absinthe and just sent the biggest backside rodeo, I think still to this day. And that was about 12 years ago. So that's pretty crazy to have a backside rodeo that's lasted 12 years. With Absinthe, you can actually watch his career evolve into what the T-Rex he is now. So McIntyre comes up to the T. Par three this one. And he takes a swing as a very much slice that ball. And there it goes. Over the trees. It looks like I think he's gonna land on the green. Oh no! 
No, um, he's just missed it by a couple of yards there, and I think he's going to be in the rough.